Hi there, I'm Lavanna Fame. Welcome to Dragon Age 2, episode 54. Okay, so they have Fenris. <laughs> They've kidnapped Fenris. Uh, I think I will swap out Anders. Yeah, and maybe Sebastian as well. Um, I don't want to start Meryl's quest, so let's go to the Hawk Estate. Okay. Um, well, we might as well see if there's any new letters. You've had luck on your travels? A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Sweet. Okay. Uh, a message from the Comte de Lancé. Okay. Hawk, thank you for persuading Emile to do the right thing. The boy may not recognize it, but you probably saved his life. I don't know how to repay you, but perhaps this coin is a good start. Sincerely... Guillaume de Lancé. Okay. Well, five gold. Okay. Well, yeah, he probably doesn't want to admit that being made to run away is a good thing, but, you know, it, it saved him. <laughs> it saved him. Okay. So, we need to collect Fenris. So, I want Meryl with me, definitely. Aveline and hmm who do I want Varric or Isabella let's take Varric yeah okay Varric is more forgiving <laughs> um, right here who needs rescuing and best served cold okay well, we'll see which one pops first. Hold there! Ooh. Who are you? The name's Evitz. As in Evitz Marauders. The folk you killed a few years back. Ah. Now you're going to die for what you've done. I mean, it wasn't exactly difficult killing all your marauders, so unless you've really leveled up, it's probably not going to go your way. Um, let's pull them forwards a little bit. <laughs> Gravitic ring. And let's do a mind blast just in case. Okay, whoever it is isn't really close to me. <laughs> there you are. Okay, let's get ice. Alright. And you can have a crushing prison. You can have some horror. It looks like Aveline's got Evitz well rounded up. So, so have some ice. <laughs> there we go. And the archer. Oh, Evitz is dead. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what his plan was, but. Yeah, that was not exactly inspiring. Aveline, Ooh. You look after Hawk, won't you? Of course I will. What kind of a question is that? And sometimes Isabella gets into awful trouble. You'll watch out for her too. Meryl, what brought this on? Anything could happen. You'll protect them though, it's what you do. There's nothing to worry about, Meryl. Yeah, that's not a Meryl is worrying. That sounds like a Meryl is trying to say goodbye <laughs> kind of thing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is that because... What is her approval with us? Oh sweet, we are. We are high on the rivalry. Good. Good. I'm sorry, Meryl. <laughs> I really am sorry, but I am happy about that. Good. But don't run away. You won't do well on your own. <laughs> well, no, I suppose technically she would do well on her own. Um, let's get a constitution up to 20, because you're going to need more health. And... Hmm... And more magic. Why not? Let's get you up to 46. Let's give her stone's throw. Yeah, so that's her, her tree completely done. 
Oh, and she is outcasted. Accepted nowhere, Meryl has learned she can depend only on herself. So she has some damage resistance. Let's give her some rock armor. Yeah. Especially if you're going to rely on yourself. Protecting yourself is a must. Yeah, does she need anything? Sting. That's what I was going to do, wasn't it? Nature damage. Yeah. Let's give you sting. And we'll move that to junk. Okay, what do you have? Ah, she has the blood magic stuff. So I doubt any of these are going to really help her. Nah, I think she's okay. I think she is okay as she is. Yeah. Alright. Well, where are we going? Ah, we need to go all around the wounded coast again. Well, if we have to go down there, then I might... Well, I'll just come down here. Oh, yes! Okay, corpse. Torn trousers. <laughs> of course. And the Avergan Scroll's first aspect. The first scroll is marked with the chastened chieftain's sigil. Mine daughter was taken by the caster, and mine legion met him. She was pried from his blood scrolls, but some horror did inhabit him instead. Mine legion did not contain, and I ask for a seal, whatever the faith. Christ be paid, scholar. The second scroll is vellum, with archaic script and phrasing, but the red ink remains somehow wet. Of binding a symptom no vial can contain you, one of three separated in prevention. Unbound but caged, I must not follow. Truth will hold you, for that is what truth does. The second scroll ends with a crude map and a handprint in red, the little finger severed at the first knuckle. <laughs> okay, that's... yes, this. Okay, we've got the first. So, we need to find this hidden lair. And we have this third, but not the second yet. Not the second. Okay. Well, it's not been added to this map, so... Well, we'll go up and around real quick. Just to see what's waiting for us. Ah. Oh. You there. Oh. Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? Uh, it looks like you've sorted out the kidnapping. <laughs> um. Yeah, your father sent me. I come at your father's request. You expected someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please Oof. take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. <laughs> I want to thank him properly. <laughs> um, yeah, he's into Vinter, actually. Oh, don't lie, Molly. You know where he is. He sent you a letter. You could thank me instead, or I don't have time for this. Um. Yeah, he's in Tivinter, but we don't know where exactly, I suppose is what she's saying. So let's remain diplomatic and we'll just, uh, hmm. Maybe you should, I don't know, just say thank you and leave it at that. Because <laughs> I can't take you to him. I, I don't know where exactly he is. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey! What did you do to my man? I'll kill you till you're good and dead. What was that? What was that voice acting? What? Oh dear. <laughs> what was that? <sighs> Let's slow him down. And hold him to the center. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Uh, Fist of the Mere King, yeah. Let's finish this. And get a little bit closer and get some ice in them if we can. Oh, we got staggered. Uh, mind blast? Haha, <laughs> there you are. Crushing prison. Okay. Dead. Sweet. It seems I must wait a bit longer for my love. Oh, thank you for your aid. I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fenriel, my love, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, he's popular. Get it, Fenriel, get it. Okay, was that that was a side quest? Who needs rescuing? Yeah. Olana was rescued despite the fact that the dreamer, Fenriel, seemed to have all seemed to already have the situation well in hand. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Nice. Coming into those powers very well. 12 silver, 86 copper. 13 silver, 63 copper. And the leader had hack. <laughs> okay, a corpse. 20 silver, 38 copper. A skeleton. With an amulet. Okay, but not a great amulet. And this corpse. A belt and two health potions. Sweet. Well. That's nice. That is nice. I mean... Considering he's into Vinter though, <laughs> that shows he's got a lot of power to affect, affect people all the way here on the Storm Coast. Wow. And somehow he was aware of what, what what this woman was going through as well. But he's he's a regular little hero. <laughs> Breaking hearts already. Oh, Telvashoth. Okay. Ah, lots of Telvashoths. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Very nice, Meryl. Okay, okay. And let's slow you all down. No uh, can we pull you back over here? Uh, only a little bit. Yeah, okay. Crushing prison if you can. You can have some ice. Yeah, and you. Alright. Nice. Okay. So, was there actually just the corpse? A ring. Very nice. Okay. 12 silver, 88 copper. 13 silver, 57 copper. And a chest. Um, Varric. Get into there, please. We're good. Cracked rose diamond and a tiger's eye fragment. Very nice. All right. Well, yeah. It seems that he's he's doing very well in his studies anyway. Very well. So his teacher or his master or whatever he wants to call it must be doing a very good job. <laughs> a very good job. Amulet, sweet. But then I suppose they thought they'd oh, They've got a really good deal with uh, someone with his powers just turning up. Enchanted locket. Lovely. Yeah. And there is a chest down there. Sweet. Oh, okay. oh wow. Sneaky Telvashoth. Very sneaky. Come to me. Come to me. Um, let's try and pull you all in. And then... We'll uh, slow you down. And give you a fist of the <laughs> Get in closer. See if we can get some ice in here. Okay, and a mind blast. <laughs> okay, Cerebus, have some prison. 
Yep. And you. And the last one, I think? No. Okay, there was two. But they're no match for us. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, Cerebus. Superior Battle Axe. Wow. And you. 13 silver, 7 copper. Very nice. Okay. And this chest had a frayed rope. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Honestly, the things that you think are treasures, Molly. An enchanted locket. Okay. And down here. This crate. A degenerate essence. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to know what that was. Lovely. Pile of bones. Hey, a canary sword. Okay, 19 silver and 41 copper. Gosh. How many of those swords are there? I'm not actually sure how many we've given in, but it's... It's quite a few now. It's quite a few now. Okay, pile of bones. An opal fragment. And... No, we can't get up there. Okay. And even more Telvashoth. Okay. Let's get you all in here. And slow you down. Fist of the Maker. <laughs> get over here. And give them some ice. Damn right. Okay. Um. Get into you. Come on. Oh, lovely. Very lovely. <laughs> okay, Telvashoth. 12 silver, 68 copper. 13 silver, 34 copper. 13 silver, 72 copper. And a broken statuette. Very nice. Okay. I wonder if the Telvashoth numbers increased after what we did to the uh, the Arishok. Did that in some way, you know, break faith with some of them? Who knows? Who knows? So is it down there that we need to go? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, let's just come along here so we don't need to come back this way. Hey, elf fruit. Is that our last elf fruit? I think it might be. Awesome. Alright, oh, and there's nothing. No, and then just over there is where we got the other scroll. Okay, good. Alright then. So, let's get down here. Oh, this looks promising. Uh, apostate and Renegade Templar. Together. So this is definitely... Oh yes, we've got some more temple... Ah! Ah! Okay, that one's a renegade templar and an apostate. That's a regular templar and a circle mage, but they're all against me. Why? Guys, you don't need to be against me. Well, never mind. Never mind. Let's pull you all in if we can. Eh, not really. There we go. Get into that renegade Templar. <laughs> oh, the Circle Mage. Let's give you some horror. And the Templar Lieutenant can have a Hex of Torment. And a Christian Prison. Oh, lovely. Circle Mage is bringing costs up. Of course they are. <laughs> of course they are. Let's get into you. Okay, and you. All right, and the lieutenant. Oh. Okay. Well, here you are. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. 
Well, well, Samson. I do know you. <laughs> sure. Who are you again? Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainriel's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar, but that was before your time. Right. Well, you seem to be true to form so far. Who raised those corpses? That is interesting. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. Wow. Wow. Okay, that is kind of unfortunate. And what are you doing here? Are you part of this plot against Meredith? You could say so. That bitch threw me out of the Templars for carrying letters from a mageling to his sweetheart. She's got her sword so far up her ass, she can cut you with her tongue. <laughs> this isn't the right way. She's a bit unstable. Then why are you out here? Yeah. Shouldn't you be in with the rest of them? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give them a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Mm, the mages must be stopped. I want to help the mages. I do want to help the mages. Of course I do. I don't want them to... I don't want to help blood mages. Sorry, Meryl. But they do deserve their freedom. So, yeah. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Is it that simple? Yeah. <laughs> I cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. All that's right and... Meryl friendship? How dare you? Honestly. Alright, well, whatever. My next fragment. God damn it. I was hoping I'd get some anti-blood mage stuff. <sighs> Meryl. I was really hoping I'd get some anti-blood mage stuff to go and bring her, her rivalry <laughs> even higher. But apparently not. 13 silver, 13 copper. 32 silver, 15 copper. And nothing here. Okay. I imagine Fenris is going to be frothing at the mouth to slaughter all the mages for kidnapping him. <laughs> In this, I can't say I blame him. Ooh, ooh, I see something glittering. Yeah, let's grab this rubble. Tiger's eye fragment. Okay, and there's something glittering up there as well, but we'll have to probably activate these guys to get to it. Well, never mind. Ah, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't have to. Okay, good. Pile of bones. A pick knife scaler. Okay, we'll get to the rubble here. Tiger's eye fragment. And we'll see if there's anything around this corner as well. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, no, nothing around this corner. Alright then, so let's get into this. And there's our Fenris. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Earthrest. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Release the hostage. I'm shutting you down or I don't support Meredith. I don't. I don't support Meredith. <laughs> your cause is just. But I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The elf dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. 
Grace, do you really want to do this? After everything we've done for you? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith? What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Really? Grace? Who, who is Grace? I've forgotten. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think I remember this woman. She's the one whose boyfriend was a, a, a blood mage. And because it was only him that seemed to be the blood mage, I let the rest of them go. But they were caught and brought to the circle. Alright. Okay, well, I mean, we can work this out. We should be able to work this out. I'm a very diplomatic person. I could say I knew I should have killed you, or don't mess with me. Personally, I'd like to have a little bit of a... an aggressive stance here. You don't want to mess with me. Absolutely. You hurt my friend. You die. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Yeah. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. <sighs> ah, Elaine, okay. Why are you doing this, Elaine? Yeah. I thought you turned your back on blood magic when you saw what happened to Decimus. This isn't right, Grace. The champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. Just saying. There's no. a lot of people here. <laughs> no one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Yep, that's it. Cut yourself. Go for it. And I'm sure that everybody is going to die. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion! Why are they doing what she wants? Guys! And the Templars! Okay, Meryl Rivalry plus five, that's what I like to see. Okay. Okay. But why? Why are you doing that? She can't be that influential, but I suppose if she is a blood mage. She will likely have a lot of influence over their minds at this point. Let's try and drag them all to the center. Damn right. Let's get a gravitic ring on them. Get forward. Mind blessed. <laughs> and we will... Uh, you know, I don't want to hit a lane. Fist of the maker, these guys. And they're gone. Back to you. There we go. Yep. Okay, Grace. Hexatomin. And... Um, where is she? Ah, she's a pride. Abomination. Honestly, Grace. Okay. Uh, crushing prison anyway. <laughs> and some horror. Yeah. And she's down. So there's just... Ah, there is a few people behind me. A Templar Lieutenant and some Renegade Templars. Okay, well let's get into the back of you. Alright. A Templar Hunter. Okay. Oh, what do we have? What do we have? Misdirection Hex. Why not? And some ice. Meryl seems to have got this. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep getting into this hunter then. Maybe... Uh, Fist of the Maker. Ooh, that was... <laughs> that was very awkward. And let's try and pull. Yeah, there you go. I saw you. <laughs> uh, an enchanter as well. Wow, we have completely dismantled this entire operation just 
from one misunderstanding and one crazy blood mage. I definitely should have killed that woman. Okay, apostate. Have some horror. Yeah, and the lieutenant. Okay, the enchanter can have a crushing prison. Yep, done. Sweet. I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. Uh-huh. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. Well, luckily I have a blood mage. You don't need to... Okay, never mind. <laughs> should not have let them take me. I let you down. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't immediately kill that kid. Okay, um... You're safe now. I've avenged the crime. I'm surprised at you. Yeah, I think... As much as I'd like to say you're safe now... Isn't that a little bit too... Patronizing? I don't know. Shouldn't have let them take me and let you down. You didn't let me down. Oh. I want to say he's safe. Ah, even if it gets me rivalry. She's soft for Fenris, so she's gonna tell him that she's that he's safe. I promise. I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you. It oh, good. is comforting to know that I have you at my back. Sweet. We're meeting in here, Sir Cullen. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. <laughs> I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. Oh, Cullen. The Champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah, put the mage to questioning. He's one of Grace's. Don't hurt him. Yeah, look. Don't hurt him, Cullen. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I could I'll say encourage the same about Meredith you. to take it easy on him. Thank you, champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, champion? Hmm. Kill them all, give Samson another chance, or be merciful. Ooh, you know... It's either be merciful or give Samson another chance. I don't know. I don't know. Does that feel like... Does that feel like something I should do? Kind of, actually. If I forget, if I forget everything that happens in Inquisition and um, all of that, whatever, I know that Samson has been struggling. He's been on the street. We've seen him a few times over the years, and he was against Meredith. So forgetting everything that he hasn't yet done. Yeah, give him another chance. Go for it. She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Well, well. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Aveline friendship plus ten. Best served cold. Done. <laughs> Return to Orsino in Templar Hall with the news. Yep, yeah, well, Orsino, I'd like to say that we uh, snuck in and took careful, careful stock of what was going on, but actually, we slaughtered everybody. All the way across the storm coast. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's no way that that sounds good to anyone. There is no way that sounds good to anyone. Well, at least Meredith will be happy. 
<laughs> we killed a lot of mages today. Templar Hunter. Yeah. 32 silver and 1 copper. 34 silver, 20 copper. Grace herself. 67 silver, 84 copper. The Tiger's Tail and Hood of the Champion. So she had my hood. How dare she. Pride Abomination. Ethereal Scoria. Ornate Demonic Amulet. Oh, wow. The Pride Demon had its own jewellery. That's... That's badass. <laughs> really? Just coming from the Fade, already already adorned. That's that's awesome. It's a shame that it chose Grace. I love Okay, small wet pouch of incense. Libertarian fraternity staff. Okay. Ugh, libertarians. <laughs> okay, Templar Lieutenant. 31 silver, 30 copper. And the apostate. Six silver, fifty-five copper. Alright, and I think that's that's everything. So we just need to go around here and check out the rest of the coast over here. And then I think we'll head on back to Kirkwall if we if we can. So I assume that Samson, regardless of what you do here, will always become evil. <laughs> It'll always turn to Corypheus, because it has to in the in, in Inquisition. But I, I see no reason to punish him now for something he might do in the future. Ah, okay, we're being attacked. Some... Uh, uh, Varric is going for the high ground. Ah! Varric can see them first, okay. Well, let's get round there. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. There we go. Um, let's get some ice in here. Oh, what do we need? Let's try and pull them all into the center. And graffiti clay. Slow them down. Very nice. Okay. Um, you. You have some ice. Okay, nothing coming from that way. It's all forwards. Okay. Come to me then. All of you. Uh, fist of the maker. Yep. Pull them a little bit away. Yeah, okay. Ice. Okay. And then maybe a little bit of a repulsion to bring them forward a little. <laughs> and get in there. Um, have some ice. Oh, I've lost count very. Oh, oh gosh, even more. Sweet. Okay, gravitic ring. That's right, come forward. And Fist of the Maker. Let's keep going. Keep it up. Uh, crushing prison on you. Oh, lovely. You brought this on yourself, you know. Oh gosh, even more. Damn. And we thought we'd killed all of the uh, the blood mages around here. <laughs> For whatever reason, the dead are still coming up. Yeah. Okay. Ah, 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 ha, Medan. Medan? Uh, horror. Whatever. Um, Hex of Torment. And some ice, I think. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Okay, and get a little bit closer with with you. Yep, ice in the back. 
Christian prison if we can. Ooh, funny. You need to heal yourself. <laughs> Get in there. There we go. Very nice. Okay. That was the first aspect. That was the first. Okay. A physical aspect of something has been destroyed. A physical aspect of mm, something. <laughs> okay. Um, pride unbound. Search for moss scrolls and hidden lairs to reveal an ancient evil. Okay. Well, let's see. Girdle of the Elders. Very nice. Um, 13 silver. 13 silver, 4 copper, and a cracked lifestone. 12 silver, 46 copper. Okay. <laughs> Let's get down here. And see what this corpse had. Maybe this was the corpse of one of the uh, renegade mages. Woven bracelet. Okay. But it's more likely that this aspect has just been... Um, revitalized a little bit because of all of the uh, the mages activity here or even or even it could be because we've been reading the scrolls so we know about it you know knowledge is power knowing about a thing gives it power <laughs> formula fell grenade nice very nice i think it's a bit late in the day to be still giving us recipes though i think act two is when we should have been getting our the last of our recipes, not now. Uh, ooh, Embryum. Sweet. And a pile of bones. With a flawed diamond. Okay. And up here. We might as well check it out, even though we've got no quest for up here, as far as I'm aware. Yep. The aspect isn't up here. Unless it's all up here. Could be. Even if we haven't gotten the second scroll. Uh, crate. A battle axe. Okay. Um, a, some bones over here. Oh, a canary sword. Sweet. And coral fragment. Aha! Okay, that's the last sword. All of the missing canary blades were found. Go to Hightown during the day and return them to Tarbus. Sweet. Okay, good. So he gave us a tally of how many we needed to look for then. <laughs> a short bow. Okay. Well, that was very useful. Thank you, Tarbus. Ah, and you're just... you're still here. <laughs> Completely unconcerned about all of the uh, things hanging around. Not every coin is valued by weight. Some carry where they be, like small whispers of the past. Sure. Oh, Yazaris. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I have enough money for it as well. It's not good for me. Uh, uh, you can't use it either, but, you know. Fenris might be able to use it. What is he using, though? I don't know what... I don't know what he is using. Okay, Staff of the Magister is blood magic. What have you got, Meryl? You've got Sting. It's possible that whatever he has, whatever Fenris has right now is going to be better. But let's sell these mauls and battle axes, at least. And we'll just we'll just take it. Yeah. Hood of the Champion is what we're probably going to be wanting to wear, isn't it? Oh no, the resolutionist's cap is way better. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh well. Ring of the Ferryman. Immunity to stun, that is nice. Plus nine mana stamina regeneration rate. Ooh. Oh, that would be all my money. <laughs> that would be near enough all of my money. Ha has he got anything special first? No. Let's sell all our junk. Okay. And we'll take the Ring of the Ferryman. I really need to go through everybody's stuff before I get rid of any more rings or belts. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. 
Yazaris, the Dragon Slayer, absolutely. Anything through here? No. Nothing around here. And up here. There is a barrel, but this has been blocked off. Very nice. How about the hand axe? And, ooh, a corpse. With an amulet. Okay. Nice. Well, yeah, alright. Time to go home, I think. This has been quite an interesting excursion. I'm interested to see where this new uh, this new place is. Uh, the hidden lair. Search for more scrolls and hidden lairs. So I need to I need to find another hidden lair. And that's all that was. That's what the hidden lair was. Just part of the road. Right here. This is technically a lair. So weird. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay. So I kind of want to see what Antivan camp has in it. Because it's, well, it's still there. And I'm not sure why. So let's just go over there. Yeah. It shouldn't still be here. This is just where we had Zevran's quest with the crows. So I don't know why it hasn't disappeared yet, but we'll have a look around. And hope if there's something here that we haven't picked up that we need to pick up before it'll disappear. Let's hope we'll find it. Nope, you know, I kind of thought there would be a hidden lair on this map and that's why it hadn't disappeared, but... No. <laughs> no. No such luck. Well, we left from that one last time, so let's leave from the other side and see if that'll somehow complete it. No, it's just sticking around. Okay, well, we do need to return to Orsino. We have favour and fault, apparently. We could go to Merrill, we could go to Darktown. Hmm. Let's go to the gallows. Okay. I mean, do you think we'll win? When what? In the end. It feels like something is ending, doesn't it? Do you think we'll win? Nothing is ending, Meryl. Things are a little tense, but it will pass. I hope we win. Barrick will make it a good story, I'm sure. He will. He will. Well, let's see. What do you say now, Colin? Hopefully you can address the accusations against <sighs> the guard, Of course, I forgot about that. I don't have time for gentle solutions. I forgot about that, so... Those robes are gonna get their lesson. Soon. Yeah, okay. And Elaine. Thrask's dead. Grace is dead. And nothing's changed. They're not going to be the last ones who rebel. No, they're not, but hopefully they'll do it without resorting to blood magic. Look at this. My own sun shield and all the lyrium I can quaff. You've done me a good one. Yeah, well, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Although, technically, he did have that shield before. <laughs> he did have the shield. I'm a little surprised he hasn't donned the armor. Really. But never mind, he can't have everything, I guess. Okay. Well, let's get to Orsino. So, bad news, Orsino. Your Mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. Yep. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing. 
to trick me into incriminating myself. Meredith wasn't involved. She must be overthrown. She must. But I'm not sure I want to say this with her doll right there. But we're going to. If Meredith stays in charge, she'll run Kirkwall into the ground. Speak softly, friend. <laughs> there is nowhere safe to say those words. But be assured, you are not the only one thinking them. Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. Okay. Cumberland circle rope circle robes, really? Honestly. Alright. The conspiracy was taken down. <laughs> the Orsino is still suspicious of Meredith's involvement. Yeah. Well, there's nothing we can do about that now, is there? The Majors are close to open rebellion. Though Thrask is dead and his conspiracy stopped, the situation remains tense. Look for letters from both Meredith and Orsino, as the champion will likely be called to defend Kirkwall once more. Well, probably. Well, it is a shame. <laughs> it's a shame that we killed all of the conspirators. I can't believe it. Everyone fighting for what we actually want. We slaughter them and we still get a reward. <laughs> yeah, alright, well, have a gift. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. Honestly. So, what do these look like? Uh, yeah, exactly the same as everyone else's. Hood of the Champion's not that great, but... What do we have? Yeah, let's at least complete the set. Maybe the set bonus is going to be really cool. Oh no, that's probably going to want me to have the champion's war staff as well, isn't it? Well, never mind. We, we don't have that. <laughs> we definitely don't have that. Ooh. Well, we'll keep the resolutionist's cap anyway. We'll keep that one. The Cumberland Circle rubs, though. We can move those to junk. We're not going to use them. Alright then. So it feels like we've done a disservice to the resistance. <laughs> Rather than an actual service. But we all, all we did was what we were asked to do. Is there a story behind Bianca? There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame that that question actually gets answered. I was perfectly okay not knowing who Bianca was. Anyway, let's go to the Hawk Estate. We do have a letter. Okay. Welcome home, Miss Anne. There's another letter waiting on your desk at your leisure. Okay, okay. The last straw. Champion, you've proven yourself a friend to Kirkwall's majors, and it seems I must call upon you once again. Meredith has gone too far, and I will not let her madness remain unchecked. I ask that you come to the gallows at once. Perhaps together we can stop this before there is bloodshed. First Enchanter Orsino. Okay. No, I think if this is the final quest, I will leave that. I'll leave that and we will do everything else first. I don't want to risk getting to the end game before we've we've done even the other uh, DLC that we need to do. And we have all of these companion quests to do as well. We still need to give in the swords and find hidden lairs for these scrolls. So yeah, I think I'll I'll just leave that one. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. Okay. Well, I'll leave it here and I suppose next episode I'll do some companion stuff. I'll talk to the companions and maybe we'll get a start on um, the last DLC. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I upload five videos a week, so hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.